second time in a year, St. Francis Academy in Baltimore is mourning the loss of one of its student athletes. Star wideout Lamar Patterson was killed in a crash involving an MTA light rail train while he was on his way to school yesterday morning. WMER 2 News' is Ray Strickland joins us live now from St. Francis Academy. Ray, uh, lots of love coming out on social media for this young man. Yeah, Kelly, everybody posting about Lamar Patterson are in shock and disbelief about the death of a young man who had so much potential. He was without a doubt an amazing football player for St. Francis Academy. But as much as he shined on the field, he was also, by all accounts, a superstar off of it. Here's Lamar Patterson, needs four yards. He's got it, a burst of speed, galloping into the end zone. Touchdown, St. Francis. A junior at St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, Lamar Patterson captivated fans with his dazzling ability on the football field. The star wideout and cornerback was well on his way to play Division I football, receiving offers from nearly two dozen schools, including Penn State and Virginia Tech. But on Wednesday morning, Patterson's life was cut short when he was killed in a crash in Anne Arundel County while he was on his way to school. According to police, an MTA light rail train hit Patterson's car as he drove onto the tracks. I'd like us all to remember Lamar in our prayers and, and reach out to his family with, with love. Patterson's coach, Masai Halamariam, posted this on Twitter, reacting to his passing, saying, quote, please wake me up from this nightmare, going on to say, I know for a fact you are in heaven. Patterson's death marks the second time a St. Francis football player has died in the past year. Aaron Wilson died of brain cancer last April. And in this game on ESPN, Patterson wore the number four to honor Wilson, who was also his childhood friend. In an interview with the Catholic Review, associate head of school for St. Francis, Melissa Diadamo said it was, quote, a tough day after learning about the passing of Patterson, but she also said we are doing our best to take care of each other. And we do have more details about the crash. According to a preliminary report, when Patterson drove onto the tracks, the gates were still lowering and did not completely block the road. Police say investigators are still looking into the possibility of operator error. Live in Baltimore tonight, Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.